Okay. Am I on? Okay. I want to thank everyone for coming today. And um, help me celebrate Dennis's life. And I know you all meant so much to him. And you share a lot of time with him. And um, I'm just got and I wish a lot of the guys that had passed could have been here. You know, Dennis Culver and George McHugh and Paige and every but all the other guys that have passed on. But um, we're going to show a little film here, and then we're going to have some dinner, probably about 12:30, a nice lunch, and help yourself to the wine. The servers are here to get you any kind of tea or coffee or soda. So we're going to watch a little bit of Dennis's uh, goofiness, and then. Um, <laughs> Then I'll come back. I'm just tell you a little bit about Dennis's his, his his what he did, the different stuff he did in his life, all the not crazy stuff because you guys know all that <laughs> stuff. And Brian, <laughs> Brian, he wants, and Brian, if you want to come up and say anything about your dad, your this yours too. You know, you shared most more than I have with him. And like you guys, you have 27 years. I know he was on the department. And I got 10 wonderful years with him. So, anyways, we'll show the film.
Okay. Um, I don't think I need this. Um, okay. Um, just a couple of things. Um, Dennis, that one baby picture, he was um, just a little background of stuff that he told me, and I, I don't think Dennis ever made up any bullshit. He might have spoke a lot of it, but he never, I believed everything he told me, pretty much. Anyways, um, the baby picture, he was voted the uh, cutest baby in Hudson County. He always said his dad had something to do with that. Um, he was a Marine. He went in at 17 years old. Um, he, yes. Uh, he, um, I asked him if he ever jumped out of an airplane. He said he no, he jumped out of a helicopter at night. And he landed in Cambodia because they were at the grid wrong. And that's why this bracelet, I know you guys have seen him with that bracelet on for a long time. Uh, he, 14 of them were captured. And the, the wife or the mother of one of the men made him for all 14 men. And, and then he got out in 65. He was in Okinawa first. He was a driver for one of the senators in JFK's funeral. Um, then he got out. He had two sons, you know, Brian and Sean. He was on Jeopardy. He was a Jeopardy player. Wasn't a champion. He won a Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and he would also did the pilot for three on a match in the $10,000 pyramid, which he, they gave him a bunch of Ogilvy hair products. Ladies, if you know <laughs> Ogilvy hair products. He had cases and cases of the shit in the, in the basement, he said. <laughs> he said he was just giving it away. And he, um, during that time of the game show stuff, he said he got um, waffled with a Don Pardo in the Rainbow Room, which doesn't surprise me. Um, um, I think uh, I have uh, O'Neill's uh, retirement speech about Dennis. She never wanted to ask him for marital advice. Um, I met him at the Orleans in, in Las Vegas, and he said, I wasn't expecting you this time in my life, and I always wish I could have been a fly on the wall when he called Brian. He said, yeah, I met this new lady, or I don't know what he told him, because I know Brian probably went, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, not, not again, because I am wife number four. <laughs> And I was married twice before. I don't have any children, but I always love the institution of marriage. And I love being a wife. I think that's the greatest job I've ever had. You know, I did construction and waitress and stuff, but being a wife. But I always knew God would send me the right man. So, and like with Dennis, we went. We did a lot of things, and it was always fun. He loved all you guys because. The Christmas cards was a big deal to him. I know Dennis would always say, nobody shitting my money. You know, even, you know, if it was 42 cents, if he did like it, he wouldn't spend the 42 cents on it. But with Dennis, that last one was on December 4th, um, 16 days before he passed. But that was very special to him, to stay in contact with everyone. And it meant a lot. His, and like I said, you've known him 27 years. And his stories I've heard are just unbelievable with you guys. But. You know, you had each other's back for all these years and been friends. I know Doc, he's been a friend with Doc since they were 14 for 60 years. And John, you're seeing, and Peters and Suki were there, and Shifty and Bubba and Novolinsky's and, um, gosh, I mean, just Bill and, and Jack, Jack the racetrack, and Gilbert, and this is Dennis's first cousins, Denise and Gary. That is his godmother's. Godmother's uh, children, and um, Uncle Steve couldn't be here. That his one surviving uncle on his mother's side. Um, so I'm just so happy y'all came, and he just had a wonderful life. He always said, "If I die tomorrow," he says, "I can't complain." He said, "I had a fun night, and we had a blast." I mean, he was the most gracious guy, and like with his Christmas cards, that when he was in the hospital, he started receiving, and then he went from Bubba County was there, <laughs> and it was so funny. I told Bubba this. And I don't know if Dennis became a Christmas card connoisseur, and so I'd get the mail and take him up to the hospital. And he opened up Bubba's card and he said, he'd be feeling the card and he said, Get a little cheap on me, aren't you, Bubba? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> so that's why I chose. I was looking at venues and stuff like that. And Connie said, Chris, she said, You know what Dennis said about Bubba's card, right? She said, Having something nice for Dennis, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, but that was so funny. Connie's back up. And then when Brian came in, thank God for Brian and Linda, and he was there by my side to help me. It was a real tough decision, but we, you know, we made the call. Dennis was ready. He said he wanted to go. He says, I want to go. I'm ready. Let's go. 
and he didn't say where, but like a week before, he said, I want to go home. I got to go buy Chrissy Christmas gift. And the, he said, I'll come back tomorrow. Just let me go home today. I'll come back tomorrow. And so, but he said he wanted to go home. But the second time when Brian was there, he said he was ready. I want to go. So, and it was the most peaceful thing I've ever experienced in my life. I've seen babies born, but being by his side and seeing him pass. It's hard to be sad. So, anyways, I'll give the floor to Brian if you like. Thank okay, you. thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, you can just thank all the sentiments of course he has. I mean, the friendships that he had. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at people and trying not to break up, but the hardest part is not being able to make that phone call again. You know, he was a friend to everybody here. The things that you guys have shown up today, what he meant to you, you meant as much and even more to him. I mean, it was huge, you know. He always talked about everybody out in Vegas. You know, he wanted everybody to come out there, he wanted everybody to see him. And the names, just the stories that we're throwing around today is, is awesome. I mean, that helps a lot. Um, and I can just tell you, growing up as a fireman's son, you become part of that extended family in the firehouse. They accept you right away. They're your brothers, they're your uncles. And I could just give you a quick story as it relates to marriage. Not Christy this time, but <laughs> back in the day before cell phones and all the other stuff and dad being in his nomadic ways, you kind of didn't know how to get in touch with him. <laughs> Except when you look at the firehouse schedule and you say, oh, C Group's working tonight. I can call the firehouse. Outside line pay phone. So I give a call up one night and uh, somebody answers the phone and says, yeah, Dennis Lowry there. They say, uh, Dennis Lowry, uh, where's he at? And the yell from the back comes, he's on marriage leave. <laughs> <laughs> marriage leave? I don't know nothing about this now. So any clue to who, when, how this, you know? I said, no, but he'll be back next door. So a few days go by. I'm trying to go through the roll decks in my head. Of who is he with this time? This, that, and, this, uh, and sure as shit, he got married too. And that turned into uh, an eventful marriage with... Bowling balls being thrown out windows, <laughs> down hills, down the western slope. So it's interesting to say the least, but. Tell him he's going bowling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's John knows. He's going out, he went up to the window. She yelled out the window, where are you going? He goes, I'm going bowling. She threw the ball, he goes, hey, you forgot your fucking ball. <laughs> but he had a blast. He lived life to the fullest. I mean. <laughs> he's with us now, he's laughing with us, he's oh, laughing yeah. at us, yeah. and uh, like I said, until we meet again, but again, he appreciated everything you guys, you know, coming here today, I appreciate it, Chrissy appreciated it, she did a great job, I said, mentioned to a few guys here, all the silly shit he'd done in his life, and there's a lot of silly shit that he did, oh, yeah. moving to Vegas was one of the best things, he ended up with Chrissy, they had a great life over the past 10 years, he had no regrets in life, and he loved every minute of it, so yeah. guys, yeah. thank you, enjoy the rest yeah. of the day. device. It was worked on accidentally. Okay? And what it was used for was to, was to defreeze the, the hydrant when it got frozen up. Anyhow, the thing was okay. I mean, it was out of the Middle Ages. So uh, the captain said, yeah, go, go check out the thawing device. Anyhow, so we had the, the wick on a coat hanger. So I, I got the whip down. Now this thing runs on its settling, which is highly flammable. And I, and I so I have the whip that I said, just crack it. And as I said, it goes like this here. You open this thing, boom. The thing like, it didn't explode, but the, the backdraft from the from the acetylene left it black. We all spoke of it just like Al Jolson. <laughs> People all over, you know, like there was a busload of people, they were all ducking. They had the balloon outside. Anyhow, I mean, that's one of many stories that we, I mean, I have, we have so many stories. I'm sure you guys will uh, interject with it with a few. But uh, he always took care of us, you know, when we out the baby. Selfless, man. Yeah. Selfless. Yeah. Anybody that went out there, 
Don't worry, I got it all covered. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I've held court a few times with uh, with with Peanut, with uh, Jack and Doc and Johnny, Eric. These are the babies stories that will leave in Vegas. Not the gate up a little bit. The one photo I tried to find, we were in one of these casinos and they had a, a toy fire truck and we had the four of us hanging out it's like gender. And I couldn't find a photo. I'm going to tie it all. Was that with Paige? Was that with Bobby? Bobby Page, you, me, Dennis O'Donnell, Peanuts, there might have been another guy there. That was like one of the times. Anyhow, uh, you know, we had a great time. He had a quality of life with Christy. And, you know, they wanted more quantity, but he lived large. You know, he lived large. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank Christy and Brian and everybody who came to celebrate. Okay, and yeah, yeah. And uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome, sweetie. We're just going to watch one more, and then right about 12.30, we're going to eat right around that area. And then we'll get to the fireman photos with uh, a lot of Genesis. Uh, I found his album with the his 1994 retirement photos. So there's a lot of good ones in there, too. And everybody from Mount Vegas. We'll save a home.
fire and no heat. So when he came to the firehouse, we smelled it. So like Pyro, I said, Al's diner. He said, yeah, they got no heat in the car. He's sleeping in the car with the with the exhaust fan from Al Dyna running into the car with the wall. So he smelled like Pot Roast on like Tuesday night, Pot Roast night at Al <laughs> That's one of the stories. Well, I'm sure we have many. And uh, you got to get up and, and tell a, a quick story. What else we got? You got another video show? show? Yeah, one more video. Come on. Yeah. We, we can't tell us we're We can't tell us we're funny. I can't tell what. So one truck closed 1991. So we went to me, Page, and Craig Wicky went to the Memorial. So I was working with Benny Torres. So we call up, we, we pranked Torres once, so a couple months later we're going to prank two engines. So Benny calls up and he says, listen, I'm looking for this guy. He's sleeping with my wife. I found out. His name's Costanza. I know he works there. Dennis goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Now I'm standing next to bed. He goes, listen, I know this has happened. I got to see the guy's phone number. There's a pair of his underwear in my friggin' drawer. They ran out. I'm coming. Dennis goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Hangs up. 20 minutes later, Benny calls him up again. He goes, listen, I know where he is. I'm coming down there. He goes, he's not here. Benny goes, okay. Then I'm going to come down there and I'm going to kick your ass. Penis goes, he's at Memorial. It's on Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> so, two minutes later, Penis calls him and goes, listen, some guy's coming to kick your ass. Like, what are you talking about? He goes, I'm not getting my ass kicked. I go the way you are. I go Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and watch a little bit of Friends and Family. Um, that it will be uh, Dennis's brother, Glenn. He's, he lives in Florida. He couldn't make it up. And his niece and nephew, they're both real busy this time of year with kids and stuff. And Dennis's other son, Sean, which lives in Vegas, and he couldn't make it. So it's like Brian, Dennis, his, um, his brother, Glenn, some nieces and nephews, so, and some older pictures of family relatives. So anyways, enjoy this, and we're going to cut the cake, and then we'll end up with a um, the fireman, all the fireman pictures you guys come and visited in his 94 reunion. I mean, retirement. Okay, thank you.
All you guys that know me, you know what I, I like, I respect the job, I respect the firefighters that were there, what they've done, and Dennis was a great part of it. All us firefighters deserve respect. What I feel in my heart, and with the honor guard, I always, at the end of the ceremony, whether it be celebratory or memorial, I'd like to say a few words. If you could stand, please. Dennis was a Marine, and as the same Marines say, we're always faithful. Semper Fi. We try never to forget our jarheads, we call them. If you're a jarhead, you know what I mean. I found out Bill Nagy was a Marine. Tony's a Marine over there. I don't know anybody else. But I always say, tension on deck. Tension on deck. Firefighter Dennis Lowry has responded to his last alarm. Truck Company 1, Group C. God bless, Godspeed. We salute you. Even though I don't have a cover on, don't yell at me. I salute him and I respect everybody else to salute him. God bless you, brother. Yeah, that's right. Semper Fi. Brian, come up for a sec. You're on a job, you're following your dad's footsteps, it's great. You have talk to me and we've talked a lot about your father and I know how much you respect him. Absolutely. And once I found out he was a Marine, it was something I had to do in my own heart. I'd like you to accept this on my behalf as his name incorporated his time and service in the Marine Corps. God bless Thank you so much. Thank you. Jeez, get up. It's all about Dennis, not me. <laughs> no speech? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got lost for words. I was caught off guard by that. Um, That's all right. Just the respect that, you know, to, pre to present that at this time, I mean, Dad would have loved that. I mean, it, it was totally unexpected, but like I said, the Marine, the, the respect given given and taken in return. And it followed through to the fire department. And everybody who's here today, I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, it's all family here, whether it's through the Marines, through the fire department family. Exactly. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of us. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs>